the ways that you're making money? Like how many different ways? Are there to make money using Instagram? So this is the thing, Brandon. You're at the point where you have a little social proof. I can tell you want to you want to sell something to make Instagram, you know, pay your bills. Correct? Ideally, yeah. Okay. So how much money do you want to make? Like a month, like help, like two thousand a month. Okay, I'm gonna lay out a plan. This is gonna be so. You need two products. One that's not scalable and scalable. Let me explain. In this episode, we talk about how to monetize your Instagram, how to charge people, and how you can make thousands of dollars each month just from doing Instagram. said today in this episode I'm gonna call you guys up this is the ask Jay show episode four I think and we're gonna call you up and answer your biggest darkest deepest questions on Instagram every single week so if you want to be on the next ask Jay show just keep on watching hello I don't like that. I'm going to block that. Mm, I've been watching a lot of conspiracy theories. Like, Hi, this is Jade. You're on the Ask Jade show. <laughs> so, um, I have a French bulldog. His name's Cooper. And I, uh, I have a uh, Instagram page for him. I guess the problem is that, like, how to, like, grow even more, I guess. What's your goal? What's your goal? I guess I don't know what my goal is right now. Their dog accounts? Or, like, who is your target audience? Like, who are you trying to reach? Just like actual people. That's gonna basically what I'm telling you is you basically the engagement groups won't really solve that problem at all. I'm not saying stop doing that. What I'm saying is like you need to transfer some of your energy because I know engagement groups are a lot of work. So I would spend more more energy are you distributing it across multiple Facebook groups online. Are you in multiple um, not just engagement groups for dogs, but just for other accounts as well? Like what are you doing anything in regard to distribution just for regular people? No, I'm not. My target is pretty much anyone, but Right now, one thing is you're being really generic. You're saying anyone, no one's gonna like your shit if you don't be specific and it doesn't resonate to them. For example, have you seen our bulldogs on Instagram uh, page? Like, so it's ran by these two YouTubers, right? And their audience are all young kids, young kids that also like rice gum and Jake do comedy. So that's why they're so niche and that's why their bulldogs are going crazy. You could do so many things. My question for you is, you need to pick one. You're not, you're being too generic. It's not resonating with anyone, so it's gonna be hard to stand out. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. So then, if you want to target surfer dudes in Santa Monica, like all you gotta do is literally walk your dog around the fucking beach or you can every day on stories on instagram stories you take a video of your dog listening to indie music do you understand music has so much power lately if you like make your dog have like a preferred music choice you're gonna attract the people that come with it have to sustain you to like 100k followers like do you know what i'm saying like this stuff can get legit if you pick so something super specific uh. Got it, okay. The thing is, guys, with the Ask Jade show, I do have to limit everything. Um, and everyone's wondering, Jade, when are you going to open up the next spot? There's a waiting list. I will link it below. I recommend just going on the waiting list if you want to hear updates because right now there's a four-week there's a four week delay, right? Okay, so there's like a four-week delay. <laughs> what do you think, Mom? I was thinking to do the Ask Jade show like live, like in IHOP. Shout out to the car winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. <laughs> what do you guys comment below if you guys are from the Northwest area? I might do a meetup. That's for, obviously free. We could do like a QA at IHOP. <laughs> Hello. Hey, this is Jade. You're on the Ask Jade show. <laughs> what are the ways that you're making money? Like, how many different ways? Are there to make money using Instagram? So this is the thing, Brandon. You're at the point where you have a little social proof. I can tell you want to you want to sell something to make Instagram, you know, pay your bills. Correct? Ideally, yeah. Okay. So how much money do you want to make? Like a month, like help, like two thousand a month. Okay, I'm gonna lay out a plan. This is gonna be so. You need two products. One that's not scalable and scalable. Let me explain. Something that's not scalable is one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's one on, it's like personalized. It's you talking to the person. The only problem with that is you have to be physically there, AKA it's a lot of energy and it's not scalable. So you can't do much of it. Then you need another product that's really scalable. For example, passive income or you're able to sleep. So a lot of people, they make the mistake and they do this two things at once. I would go to non-scalable for the next three months. For example, I would do one-on-one -on -one guitar lessons. Definitely do online coaching if you're able to also teach musicians how to produce tracks and do marketing maybe as well because you're getting lots of views. So that's what the one thing I would do. And I would charge, you can easily make $1,000 a month from it. Easy to scale. What I do is a lot of Google AdWords. Like I get passive income just from YouTube AdSense. If you don't have YouTube, that's 
totally fine. You know, use Amazon affiliate codes. So you basically have your group of people that listen to you, whatever you say, like swipe up to buy my favorite product. They're going to do it. How many true fans do you think you have? Fans, and usually I can get about 400 watching everything. 400 people you think are true fans? Well, actually, maybe not. I don't, I don't know. Like, wait, wait. Let, me, let me explain. True fans, true fans aren't people that love you because everyone loves you, Brandon. It's more people who would literally cut their arm off to see you. I probably have like 5% of that. So like, I don't know, uh, 20? So the way you build true fans, because true fans are what pays your bills. They're like They listen to you, whatever you say, whatever product you love, they'll buy it. So a lot of people there are stuck on monetization. Sounds like to me you have content and distribution down. So most people they jump to monetization too early. I would keep doing monetization, you know, as a back end. For example, do one-on-one -on -one coaching. I would never push too hard. Like don't be a sellout so early into this game. Um, what I would do though is introduce a couple products. I would sell, go on Amazon affiliates that give you 10% of commission, whatever product, like literally a guitar, a music sheet, anything you possibly want. They have an Amazon affiliate for. What I would do is keep doing that occasionally but keep doing content and distribution until you have at least like 100 true fans like 100 true fans are all you need to get um awesome would you actually be able to maybe send me this audio I'm gonna, wink wink guys i'm gonna turn this into podcast link below yeah okay thanks so much uh would i be able to send you some music for your vlog sure brandon i'll shoot me an email at hi at jdarmawangza.com hey you're on the ask jade show do you feel like you're maybe stuck or what's the emotion like do you feel scared to post value because brother your last post was november 17 so are you just waiting yeah. for something like what are you waiting for so what's happening is that i'm i'm work, i'm pretty much picking my audience up and my plan is by march 15 i'm going to like post uh daily um, why, why can't you start daily posting now why is it march 13th <laughs> it's just that i'm, I'm preparing like the stuff that's the one okay i think you're on do you want to hear my magical advice Sure. Go ahead. <laughs> you find the content that's good for you by doing a lot of shit first and seeing how people react to it, aka see how people react to it. If it's utterly shit, then you know you're, you don't even have to do March 13th launch date for your daily post. Like it's better to know now than like when you actually prepare everything and no one cares. The biggest thing I've seen is people put so much emphasis on the back work, but they don't put enough emphasis on the front. So what happens is, what if people don't care about what you're like preparing and you put so much hard like work and effort? It's better to know the truth yeah. today. So I would say prepare work for the week, but not for like the next year because it might be out of trend by the time. Tanish, I'm gonna keep an eye on you. The Dharma Nation's gonna see how you're doing. If you're gonna post daily, whatever that is for you, we're gonna keep an eye on you and see how you implement Instagram instead of waiting until March 13th, okay? Guys, we're gonna keep an eye on you, okay? He said March 13th, the drop date. Let's see what he does. You know, everyone asks me, like, Jade, give so much advice. And I do the Daily Jade Show or whatever. But like 2% of people actually take action. Like no one, no one, no one does shit. No one does, like sometimes I call people up and they're still in the exact same place. Link in bio. I'm here in this place too. I can subscribe. Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe if you're enjoying it so far. Join the Dharma Nation and do yourself a favor because I really appreciate it and it truly means the world. You guys, in the next one, thank you so much for watching. And for everyone that wants to join the Ask Jay Show, there is a big delay. However, I provide one-on-one -on -one coaching for people who want to skip the line. If that's not you, I have a link below to join the waiting list. And it will give you updates and when the next available time is to sign up for Ask Jay Show. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.